So last night, I HBO go'd the fashion model episode from Sex and the City. I love that episode. Hashtag preach. Mm. I know. Let's play a game. Mary f*** Hill. In from season two, Mr. Big, in from season four. Easy. Marry Big, kill Big, then fuck both Aidens using Big's liquid assets as lube. You thought about this a lot. Wait, wait, wait. Which of the girls are we? Easy. Ian's Carrie, because he's the writer, and he's been thinking in voiceover ever since that last relationship ended in that coma. Mm. What could I say? Bryce knew me before I was the new me. And isn't that what we're all looking for? Someone to know all our unknowns? Sorry, what? And Bryce, you're totally Charlotte. Buttoned up in your button downs, yet unafraid to go topless for the sake of a story. Mike, you're so the Samantha. What makes you say that? <clears throat> I'll have the eggs Benedict. Sauce on the side? Or on my back. <laughs> Which leaves. Why are we even talking about this? That show is as outdated as the gender roles that it forces women and gay men alike into. It's predicated on the fact that all we should care about is ourselves, sex, and shoes. Right? Right. Gucci, Fendi, Manoli, Vanilli, oh my God, who cares? Right. We are smart, capable, independent men of the millennium. In the Middle East, there's stuff going on there, usually. And, and, and the recession, that's still a thing, isn't it? Aren't there more important things that we should be discussing other than guys, clothes, and drinking? I need a refill. Where is that cute waiter? I love that jacket. Seriously. Seriously. I love that jacket. You can all just HBO go f yourselves. What a uh, Miranda. Right. Even with all of Miranda's rights, how could she be so wrong? 